So, there are many cool animals in your backyard, but only a very few of them can be dangerous. You see different animals in different times in your backyard. Who One comes? of the most common things you'll see are bees. Bees? Do you have some here? Yep. yep. Bees are so important because they pollinate our plants. So, which uh, color flowers attract bees most? What is the pollen? Is that the yellow one? Yes. Yeah, so when it so when it lands on a flower like that, pollen gets attached to its body and when it goes to another flower, it takes that pollen with him to the other flower. If you see bees, how do you observe them, Reha? From a far distance. From a distance. Like even what you are here now, it's not bad. Like and but if you know that specifically you are allergic to bee stings. If you are getting reactions for bee stings, would you get close? No. Not at all. Another type of animal that can bite you are spiders. Spiders, yeah. There are so many different types of spiders, but only a very few can hurt you. Absolutely. So most of the spiders you see around your home are not dangerous at all. But there are a couple, if you are living in Perth, there are a couple that can hurt you. Eh? Yes. What are they? Mouth spider. The mouse spider and the red backs. Now, my mouse spiders are very, very rarely seen. And red backs, no one has ever died from a red back bite, but they can actually give you some uh, a painful bite. And we have one in our meter box, don't we, boys? Yep. Can you show him? Now, they are really common around houses in Perth. Let's get a close up. There you go. Can you see the red back? Yes. That's the underside of the spider. This is actually a small one. So how can we be spider smart? Number one, don't put your hands or feet inside dark places. Number two is be careful of spiders inside your shoes, especially boots. Absolutely. If you are leaving your shoes outside, every time you put them on, you need to check whether there's anything inside. Huh? Let's find another animal that can bite you or sting you. So one of the most common animals that you'll find in your backyard that can sting you are ants. So there are three types of ants in each colony. One worker ant, two soldier ants and three a queen ant. That's two of them. But these are the worker ants, are the, the ants that go around, find food, maintain their colony. They do pretty much all the work. That's why they're called the worker ants. So some dangerous backyard creatures only come out at night time. So we'll wait till night falls and we'll go exploring. It's a scorpion. Did you find a scorpion? Yes. yes. You want to see something really cool? Yeah. Switch off your lights. Oh wow. These UV lights and black lights, when it shines on the exoskeleton, yeah. they will glow at night. Oh, look how cool that is. Now the front feet are used to grab prey, that's how they feed, but that sting in the back, the back of the tail, that's what you have to look after. The smaller it is, the more venom it has. Yeah. Not necessarily, but some of the smaller species are a bit more venomous. A wolf spider? Yeah. There you go. Now wolf spiders, though they look a bit nasty, they're actually completely harmless, aren't they? Really cool. It's yep, it's a female. It's just going around looking for some food that night. Oh, we found a really large ant. It's a soldier ant. Oh wow, that is that's a big ant. Look how big it is compared to my finger. I'll just keep it here. Look at that. That's a big ant. Look at those mouth parts. Yeah. Now that is for defense. Like what bee. have you got here? Spider yeah. and a sp uh, scorpion. That's a scorpion. On the leaf. There. Oh, there you go. Spider right next to that leaf. Oh, that's pretty cool. See how many cool things you see at night? Yep. Do you want to put the UV light on there? Yes. Oh, look at that. That's amazing, yeah. Is 
National Spider. Let's see how beautiful that one is. Now, do they make webs? No. No, they're active predators. They just go around at night time and look for things to eat. So sometimes bees, wasps, spiders, scorpions, or ants could bite or sting you. So you need to know first day. Make sure the animal is gone. Absolutely. So you need to make sure that the danger is not there anymore. Then you clean the bite side and put an ice pack wrapped in clothes on the bite side. That's very important. So it's called cold compression. You get an ice pack. Can I have a look at that ice pack? Yes. So these are very commonly available. You use these for like keeping food um, cold when you're picnic. Now, if you don't have an ice pack, what can you use? Some ice or um, something for the freezer. Anything from the freezer, like frozen vegetables like these, eh? Yeah. But what's the most important thing? You wrap it in a Cloth. A cloth. You don't put direct. You, you don't put directly onto your skin. Wrap it. Keep it there for a few minutes. That coldness will reduce the pain and also the swelling. Yes. Now there's one exception for Sydney funnel web spiders and mouse spiders like these guys. They're very rare, but unfortunately, if something happens, you actually don't do cold compression. You do pressure immobilizing method. Now we discussed that before. In which episode was that? Snake, snake bite. Absolutely. It's like treating a snake bite. You do the same, the pressure immobilizing method. But for anything else that we discussed, we go with cold compression. Now most times these bites will only give a very mild reaction. Uh, in which case you can have an antihistamine, um, things that you can buy over the counter in a pharmacy. But unfortunately, sometimes you get allergic reactions and some kids, some people get serious allergic reactions to bites and stings. In that case, you need an EpiPen and you need to go to a hospital and seek medical attention as soon as possible. Stay safe and see you next time on Backyard Creatures. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye.